Welcome to Central News, I'm Hilary Entwistle. In today's news, regional council representatives believe the struggle against Lake Rotorua's deteriorating water quality is being won. The Rotorua Lakes Protection and Restoration Programme is a partnership of Bay of Plenty Regional Council, Rotorua District Council and Te Arawa Lakes Trust. They have stopped water quality declining in Lake Rotorua. Bay of Plenty Regional Council General Manager of Natural Resource Operations, Murray Warwick, says it has mostly been achieved through in-lake interventions and favourable climate conditions. Creative Tauranga is seeking support from individuals and the business community to bring the Harry McClary and Friends sculpture to life. Over a third of the funds needed for the sculptures on the waterfront in the city centre has been raised. However, $500,000 is still required. Creative Tauranga says the sculptures will be a strong draw card to bring local families, as well as national and international tourists, into the city centre, providing significant economic benefits and enhancing the profile of Tauranga. The kiwifruit disease PSA, the strong New Zealand dollar and falling commodity prices are among the reasons for a further slump in farmer confidence, according to the latest quarterly Rabobank Rural Confidence Survey. Conducted late last month, the survey found 44% of the nation's farmers expect the agricultural economy to worsen over the next 12 months, compared to 36% in the previous quarter and 10% at the same time last year. Just 15% expect economic conditions to improve. The Chinese company who purchased the Craver Farm says it is delighted the Supreme Court has refused to allow a further legal appeal by Iwi. Shanghai Penghuin spent the last 18 months waiting for final approval to buy the 16 North Island farms and there is now no obstacle to the purchase being concluded before the end of the year. The company says they hope to demonstrate the many benefits in New Zealand and China working together and maximise the opportunities available for New Zealand's largest industry in China. Iwi leaders tasked with looking at mixed ownership models are pleased the government has preserved opportunities for yet to settle iwi. The group believe the government has done the right thing to preserve opportunities for all iwi and the forerunner to state-owned enterprises being particularly partial, sorry, partially privatised. Iwi Collective Iwi Leaders Group Chair Mark Solomon says they welcome the fact that the government has provided a process where yet to settle iwi can participate in the acquisition for state-owned enterprise assets if they wish to. Now for our region's weather. Hamilton, your Thursday will be mostly fine with a few cloudy patches. Your expected high is 18 and an overnight low of 6. Tauranga tomorrow will be fine with light winds. Your expected high is 19 and overnight low of 9. Stay tuned as Minik has some guests in studio.